just sat downstairs in the living room whilst the removal guys are oh, okay. it's taking a lot of stuff out of our house. Oh, yeah. yes, it's, been, it's, it's all good. It's just a quick I'm in David's coat because obviously the doors are open and I'm getting a bit cold. But yeah, I think most of the upstairs has been done and we're just waiting until they can deconstruct our bed and then they'll be coming downstairs. Right, I am just at the storage place. I've just paid and checked in and signed all the documents and the forms and stuff. Just waiting for the removal company to basically put all, all of our stuff in our room and then I'll go back up there and, and padlock it and yeah so i'm just waiting in the car not looking my glamorous i have to admit yeah i didn't get time to do my makeup this morning but i can't be asked to apologize for that i don't know why i don't know if it's just me but i feel like storage places they just they're quite interesting to me and i find them kind of cool like i got a code to be able to let myself in and out and i've got a padlock and stuff i just find them quite intriguing is that just me can it does anyone else get this interest? This is my first time using a storage unit as well, so it, it might just be me. It just reminds me of Breaking Bad, to be honest, when Skylar and Walt both have like all of that stack stacks of money in the storage unit somewhere. I don't know, maybe that it, it, my interest just comes from that, I don't know. Um, so, next steps then, after I've locked up here, I am going to be driving back to the house and just gonna have another look around and maybe take some pictures just for memory's sake i did feel a bit sad when everything was getting packed up and it looked bare again i was just like oh this house has been served us well so it might just be nice to go around there one last time have a look around take some pictures and then we're moving into david's parents i've not actually gone around to david's parents yet david's dropped off a load of stuff there this morning um i did drop off my bikes yesterday and just to be safe uh, in case anyone's wondering i did have an asymptomatic covid test yesterday which came back negative so at least i, I don't have to worry about covid as well so yeah i'll um i'll take you with me obviously i think later on we're gonna have another takeaway we've been living on takeaways the last couple of days because everything's been packed up uh-oh oh. um yeah because everything's been packed up so we've just been eating takeaways so i'm actually a bit sick of takeaways and i'm not looking forward to having another one but i am looking forward to having a glass of wine so that will be nice Okay, so here's all of our stuff in storage. It looks quite, you know, compact in here now and probably something that's going to take a little while for us to get everything out. If I sound a bit muffled, I'm just wearing my mask. But um, yeah, at least it's all packed in here now. And when we move in, at least we don't have to worry about moving furniture around to be able to decorate and, and all of that stuff just noticed actually they've put like some of David's suits hanging up on there so that's quite considerate of those I didn't I didn't have a look to see where we could hang stuff anyway I'm gonna close this now lock up and go have a look around the house right we've just had one last walk around of our house oh! feels very strange to have no furniture in here it actually looks bigger doesn't it but yes my hair's up Flipping mess. Very, very strange. I might just show you quickly the upstairs. Nothing in the kitchen. Very strange. <laughs> so we're leaving the wardrobes here, so that's why they're still here. I do have some a bit of um, some marks on the wall from where we had the headboard. But yeah, I don't know. Looking around just reminds me of the vlog we filmed. Well, I filmed. <laughs> When we first moved in, completed wall, not the completed wall, but yep, yeah, time to say goodbye, I guess. Definitely gonna miss our shower room. This is the best shower ever. Ah, oh dear. Bye. Hi everyone, I've just washed my hair so yeah that's why my hair's a bit wavy. Anyway, I thought I would film a quick roundup to this video about our move-in day the other day. Today is Sunday and we moved on Wednesday and completed successfully on Thursday so that's good news. And just looking over the video footage I just feel like I just wanted to kind of give it an explanation of what happened because not that 
our moving day was chaotic but it just felt a bit like lots of things happening and you know you've got lots of your mind and I wasn't filming everything I guess but anyway yeah moving day went as well as it could have done to be honest there was no hiccups at all um so glad that we rented uh, not rented we paid for a removal company to be able to move everything for us that took a lot of stress out of it honestly I think if it was just us in a van it would have been so stressful and lifting everything and, and, and all the rest of it. So yeah, if you're thinking about moving and thinking about whether you should get a removal company, I would definitely recommend it. As I've explained, we've not exchanged or completed yet on our new purchase. So we completed on our house we sold on Thursday. And of course, um, we've only had Friday as a working day. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll hear about exchanging and completing and I can update you on that. And as you've seen as well, all of our stuff, well, most of our stuff is in storage because we've moved into David parents, David's parents now. This is David's old bedroom and yeah, we've still got some boxes which um, contain all the stuff we wanted to bring with us. So yeah, that's about it really. Moving days are weird because I feel like there's a lot of going on around you but at the same time you're you're kind of waiting a lot like for example I was you know when I first started filming this video I was just waiting on the sofa with David for all the guys to get the stuff into the back of the, the back of the van and then we got to the storage place and again I was waiting for them to get everything into storage again I think the plan when we do eventually complete on our new house is that we might we might not get another removal company to get everything out of storage because I think it will be a lot more relaxed we, we wouldn't have to do it all in one day or, or whatever so I think we may end up hiring a van and then just you know getting some stuff in the van and taking it back there maybe using our cars etc as well but we shall see and I will keep you updated as I said so anyway, I think I'll sign off now. Let me know if you'll be interested in me going through what kind of stuff I have brought with me to David's house. So it's things like a temporary wardrobe and my work stuff because I'm still working from home at the moment. Just leave me a comment below and if you have liked this kind of unexpectedly chatty moving vlog, please give me a like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with me and my move. Other than that, thank you all for watching, especially as I've had no makeup on throughout this whole video. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.